Hey, hello guys, this is Kathik from ExecuteAutomation.com and this is part 2 of our AppM with C Sharp video series. And in this part, we're going to talk about writing first AppM test using C Sharp. So before watching this part, I would request you to watch part 1 since this part is going to be a continuation of that part. Alright, so writing AppM's desired capability is our first quest to perform writing a simple test. So before writing the actual test, we need to first set the desired capability for Appium, which we already know. If you have already watched the Understanding Appium video series and also the Appium with Java video series, right? So I will also talk about a little bit about the changes of code, which is done between the Appium with C Sharp as well as Appium with Java. So for that, let me first flip to Visual Studio. So this is the same project which we worked in our last video of this video series. And also I'm going to navigate to executeautomation.com. All right. So this is executeautomation.com and you can go to the mobile testing and you can choose Appium with Java from this menu. And you can see that we have some topics discussed for Appium with Java, right? And you can see writing first simple code in Appium with Java. So this topic Appium with C sharp is also going to be the same sequence as we have seen in Java as well. But here you can see the coding is going to little bit change in C sharp as compared to Java because they are not pretty much the same as you are seeing right here, right? There will be some kind of difference. So we'll talk about the differences between uh, C sharp as well as in Java in this particular video as well. All right so let me first start writing the code so the first and foremost thing that we are going to do in this particular video is to write the desired capabilities that we have did in our app in with java as well and then we are going to see whether our application is really launching or not so for that let me first start writing the code so here the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to create the appium driver right and then let's type this as driver so this is what we did in our java appium driver driver right to create the instance of the appium driver and now if i press control dot you can see it brings me up the open qa.selenium.appium which is great and you can see there is one more error here it says that the appium driver requires one type argument which is w so what is the potential fix if you type this and it shows that the internal class is appium driver but still it requires a w so w is actually nothing but your i web element and you have c and you can see that where w is of type i web element so you need to pass the generic type as i web element so without i web element it will not work so you need to pass this particular parameter as well and again i web element type is not available we have not imported that so i'm just going to press control dot and this will import the open qa dot selenium right now your i web element is available again i web element is a interface which is available in selenium package right great so this is important so this is for creating instance for appium driver so this itself has changed in c sharp as compared to your java and we'll also see what are the other changes in c sharp compared to your java one by one so the next thing is the desired capabilities so i'm going to set the desired capabilities cap is equal to new desired capabilities so the desired capabilities is actually available in openqa.selenium.remote package yep so you need to import that one as well and here it's pretty much the same but the next change is the set capability if you can see here in the set capability it actually accepts only a string capability type but in our appium with java you can see that 
it also accepts a mobile capability type it's actually an enumerator and it actually has device name app package as a strongly typed way of getting that particular devices name and app package all these capabilities we can just pass like a strongly typed way but in c sharp we don't have that capability is lost so right now we are forced to to use the device name like this we have to type it in a hard coded way there is no strongly typed way so it is a loosely typed way and the device name is again going to be this particular device which i already know it is it is donatello so donatello for our emulator right so the next thing is we need to set the capability for our calculator application so again the calculator application is something which we developed in robotic video series and we have been using this particular calculator application in most of our video series like understanding appium video series appium with java video series and appium mobile framework development video series so this application is what i'm actually talking about this particular calculator application so in this code i'm just going to see whether this particular application is being launched or not that's it right so again i need to set what so if you see here there is something called app package right app underscore package again just remove the underscore so app package right and i know what is the package name of my calculator it is com.example.calculator that's it so we need to set that one as well All right great and the last thing which we need to do is to spin up the android driver not the appium driver but the android driver so launch the android driver for doing that just put driver is equal to new android driver you can press control dot you can see that it's been coming with open and selenium dot appium dot android so just import that and put open bracket again you can see that it's expecting me for the type w the w is nothing but your i web element so let's give this now if you see the chrome for the code you can see that this particular type is missing in our java right so for the sake of time i'm just going to copy this url alone because here you can see that it expects us to pass the uri and the desired capability so it is not url in c sharp it is uri so new uri and you need to pass the uri like this right and then you need to pass the capability so the desired capability is nothing but cap right that's it so now we have launched the android driver as well and the last thing we need to do is to verify if the application is launched right for doing that just do a assert dot is null of driver dot context so whether the particular context is launched or not simple code right so now let's try to run this code and see how it really works so you can see there are a lot of coding changes as compared to java in appium with c sharp so but they are not very big uh, difference because uh, they are pretty much uh, very likely going to do the same operation in c sharp as well as java right little few syntax changes not a big deal so let me try to run this particular test let's see our application has been launched here and also see the emulator 
the appium oops it seems like device name which i have given is not correct so it should be capital n oops sorry so that is the other nagging problem with c sharp actually has even if you try to uh, q a type the wrong casing it's going to throw you an error oh i'm sorry it's just checking for is null i'm sorry it should be is not null so currently it is not null that's how it should be so that is the problem so i was checking it wrongly so if it is not null then the test should pass so of course the contest is currently not null so it is throwing us an error which is expected and if i change this to is not null now the test will be actually going green so it will be passed so now if i try to run this test you can see that the test will go green all right see so that's it guys thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day